Welcome back to another Hero Click Battle Report. We are done with the Deadpool campaign, so now we get to play around with a bunch of battle reports. And for today, we have a Guardian of the Galaxy Battle Report. What we are doing is basically we're getting three boosters, randomly picking some out, and trying to make teams out of the figures in there. Yes. So each one is gonna, each one of us is gonna get one specific booster that only that person can use, and then that extra third booster is gonna be there just in case we want to fill it up. Um, We'll roll the dice to see uh, who gets first pick or whatever, just in case we pull something amazing. Um, but if you guys are following us on Instagram, you already know what we're going to get because um, I pulled those out. But you know. All right, guys, without further ado, let's get into our 200-point battle report. So here are the three boosters that he has to choose from. Now choose Sound Alchemist. All right, let's see what my brain power is telling me to get. And I say this one. All right, let's see what it gets. All righty, guys, I'm hoping I get that Chase Thanos. You're not gonna get that. Oh. All right, all right, let's see what we got here. We got Mentor, Star Fox, Mantis, Dire Wrath, and Karnak. People, I have no idea who they are. All right, this is Gersh1 pulling his. Uh, let's see, I use myself as a third person, that's kind of weird. <laughs> all right, oh, I got all the girls. Gamora, Trident, Captain Marvel, Gorgon, and Medusa. Very, very nice. I'm very excited to build a team out of these guys. Now let's open up the separate booster, shall we? All right, this is the separate booster. We can choose from these, ooh, and right away we have the, what is it, Black Dwarf? Yes, Black Dwarf. We have Moon Dragon, Spartoit Elite, Icon, and Starhawk. Ba boom. Alrighty, guys, this is what I chose for my team. It is the Dire Wraith, Mantis, and Karnak. Uh, they got some pretty awesome abilities, so it's not quite 200 points, but it's about 186. Let's see how well this does against Gersh's team. This is the team that I would have chosen at first, Captain Marvel and Spartoid Elite, to complete 186, I believe. Um, but the map that we're playing with has cool mechanics with water terrain. So what I decided to do is take out Captain Marvel. I know how you guys are gonna react to this, but uh, I kinda wanna play a fun game. So Spartoid Elite and Triton and Gorgon. Um, Inhumans and this Spartoy. Let's see what happens. And this map has some special rules as you can see here. Basically um, we can make range combat attacks to this or close combat attacks to this and once this breaks this becomes water terrain and every turn you roll a d6 and subtract 2. The result is however many, um, that's however many water tokens you would put in. So it's kind of like the water seeping in to whatever place this is. Um, this is a Thunderbolt submarine indoors. And this is the layout. I got my guys right here and Gersh is huddled up in the corner there. Okay guys, so my battle plan is just to go in swinging hard. I got a lot of perplex and shape change and I'm gonna be using that to my advantage. All right, my mission plan for this battle is definitely get as much water in so Triton can maneuver and have Ben stuck in water. So uh, that, that's my battle plan. All right, first thing, Gorgon is going to take a power action to destroy this wall. Triton is gonna take an action to destroy this wall, making both Besides water terrain. I have a bunch of stuff that I'm gonna denote to use as water terrain. So right now I put two things under these guys. Under these guys, let's go. Alrighty, I'm gonna move out my guys. Not taking Gersh's strategy because I'm scared of these sharks along the water. So I'm gonna move this guy up eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And move on up with Mantis 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. These guys can run. All right, now I'm gonna roll my dice to see how far the water spreads for Gorgon space. So it will be subtract 2. So, ooh, 6. Ah, that's what I wanted. So now, um, well, I'm gonna do Trident 2. Let's see, minus 2, so 1. Um, for the 1 space, I'm going to put it right here right over Spartoid Elite. And then for the four, I am going to do one, two, three, and four. All this is water terrain. And um, I will move Spartoid Elite out of the water 
and Triton will clear as well as Gorgon clear. Action token for moving. Uh, oh, correct. Thank you. Away. Thank you for reminding me. I see what Gersh is trying to do, and I hate it. He's trying to get all my dudes wet so he can slip and slide right in there. Not going to happen. I'm going to try to be as dry as a canyon in space. Will that work? Who knows? Alrighty, for my turn, Karnak will move up nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, I'll just move him up seven. I'm going to clear death, whatever, and clear Mantis. Your move. Alright, it is my turn, so I will roll um, for this. Spot with water. Oh yeah, another four, and then now Triton spot. Oh one, so zero. But I do get four. So one, two, three, and four. And then uh, Spiritoid Elite will clear. Now Triton is going to move and carry Gorgon, so it's minus two to my running. Um, so it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just to show you that I could swim, and Gorgon will be placed safely over here, away from the water. Alrighty, I'm gonna be doing Mantis's special ability called This One Nudged You To Join. Basically, Mantis can use mind control. And I'm gonna mind control Dire Wraith. So, it is a 10 on a 17 to mind control him. So I need a seven. And I got it with an eight. Um, so basically, he gets a free action to do whatever he pleases. And I'm just gonna move an arm up. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Aw, oh, man. Right in your face. All right, so the main dude I gotta hit is that Triton. Gersh's combat style of being in the water and attacking with his water guys is gonna mess me up really bad. So he is number one on my most wanted list. Triton, coming for you. And now for his action, I am going to give him a ranged combat attack against... Triton. Aww. So it is a 10 with precision strike. And 17 with toughness. So he will be doing one damage. A 10 on a 17, so a 7 to do one damage. And oh, you got it. I got it with that 7. So that is one damage on Triton. Oh. And to end my turn. Karnak will clear. All right, now I have to roll off for this hole that was punched in the submarine. One, so no more water. And now this hole. Minus two, so one more. And I am going to choose to put that right here. Um, so that is water. Now, on for my um, phases. So, Gorgon has a special ability which allows him to use charge, but when he does, he modifies his attack value plus one for every two squares that he jumps. So one, two, and he is charging the dire right. All right, and as I am attacking, I actually noticed I had battle fury, which means that I couldn't have been carried when I was over here. After consulting you with the sound alchemist, because he attacked me, he said it was all good. Hey, Gersh, I never agreed to anything like this. What the hell, man? So, um... We're gonna do 10 on a 17 for two damage. Seven to do two. Oh, and I got it. Oh, I forgot, I have shape change. So let me roll that real quick. He actually ignores shape change because of um, his <laughs> battle fury, but because the whole thing happened, I'll let you roll it. Oh, he got it. So it's like nothing happened. Um, there, it's the universe writing itself somehow. <laughs> All right, and now, um, my Spartoid Elite is going to move seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, you know what? I'm just gonna move him back here. Spartoid Elite is a piece of shit. He doesn't do anything, he's just back there. Hopefully, the defend comes into play, but other than that, why the hell did Whisk Kids create this character? Honestly, why? Triton is going to clear. Alrighty, Karnak will move up his nine. Hiding behind this wall. And Mantis will clear, and Diorath will clear. All right, I'm gonna roll to see uh, these things. Six, nice! And for the other one, one. So a total of five. And one, two, three. All right, now, um, Gorgon is going to be the beast that he is, and he's going to quake with a special bull, no, sorry, quake stomp special ability, which means that everybody within three squares um, is considered adjacent. Oh, sorry, opposing characters are considered adjacent, so these two are fine. 
So it's one, two, because they're within three squares. And I'm gonna make a 10 on a 17 and 17. Ooh, the wind's blowing. All right, let's see if I get it. No, oh, and I missed by one. You wanna prob that? I will not. Oh. And then he pushed, because he's being crazy. And now, uh, Triton is going to charge Dire Wraith. Uh, one, two, and uh, 10 on a 17 with toughness to do one damn, oh, you know what? To do Blades, Claws, and Fangs. So, so 10, to, 10 on 17, seven. Nothing. Jesus Christ, all right. He will clear. Alrighty, Mantis will move up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, she's in the water. This guy will clear for now. And Dire Wraith will attack Gorgon. It is a 10 on a 16. I need a six to do one damage. And I got it with a seven. Ooh, Jesus. All right, I had toughness, so one damage. No, sorry, Gorgon. Ooh, and I still have my specials. And that concludes everything for my round. With all these guys battling out in this cramped hallway filled with water, it's like we're having a little mini pool party. All right, now I'm gonna roll to see how far the water reaches. So nothing for that one. Now the other one. Nothing, ooh, you got lucky. So now, Gorgon, oh, I can't do anything because he's token down. What should I do, what should I do? You know what, I'm gonna clear Gorgon, I'm gonna clear Triton, and um, Spartoit Elite will move up, one, two, three, four. Can I do that, can I jump over a character if he's occupying hindering well, terrain? Technically no, because if you were to jump into his space, you'd have to stop because that would be basing the water. The Oh, you're, you're right, you're right. So I have to stay back here. All right, this guy will clear. Uh, Mantis will move one and pushing her. Oh, it's your strategy. That's pretty crazy. Uh, and now... Uh, Karnak will move one. Into the water. Your move. All right, now I'm gonna do the water thingy. Oh, goddamn, another one, six, and then the other one. So to a total of six um, things that I'm gonna put down. So I will choose to do no six. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, in my foolishness, I have forgotten the inhuman special trait um, in humanity, which allows them to use perplex on each other. So Gorgon is gonna perplex Triton's um, attack value to a. 11 on a 16, 17 to do blaze cause and fangs. And I got it for both of them. Now to do my blades. You're gonna prob it? Prob it, prob it. Jesus, all right, so I gotta roll a six or a seven. And, and I got it. All right, now I'm gonna use uh, Mantis to prob that once, once more. God damn, then. all your probs, all right. So I gotta prob that again, so six or seven, or actually I'm an 11, so five or six. Uh, and I got it. You got it. So now, Blades, Claws, and Fangs. Five! All right, I do not like the probability of this guy or her, so I'm gonna do three on Mantis and two on Dire Wraith. So two on Dire Wraith. Oh, he actually has toughness, so it's only one. And uh, I got rid of that, but now he has Perplex. And then three on Mantis, so one. Two, three, and yes, I got rid of her thing, but now she has uh, regeneration, wow. So now Triton is going to perplex Gorgon's uh, um, attack ability to a 10, and I'm gonna do Quake, but his special Quake is Quake Stomp, which targets these three guys. Um, so I'm doing a 10 on a 17, 17, 16. So I gotta roll a six to do him, seven to do them. And I got it. Everybody. <laughs> With doubles, but that's not necessary because it's quick. Alrighty, Karnak does have super senses, so here's his roll. And nothing. nothing. Two. So he's gonna take two damage and be knocked back too. 
one, two, knock back one, two. At least he's out of water. He has toughness, so he's only gonna be knocked back one and take one damage, but he's inside water, and then she takes the whole two. So one KO, Mantis is done. This is turning out to be a very fun team. I like the water technique, so thank you Sound Alchemist for choosing this map. Alrighty, all I can do is just move this guy over. So one, two, three. And then I will make a ranged combat attack on Gorgon with the Dire Wraith. Ooh, okay. So it is a nine on a 16. With toughness. I need a seven to do, well, let me perplex that first. So a seven to do one. All right, before you do that, um, the Spartoid Elite has defend. Finally, he's good for something. So that actually makes it a 17. So 17 on a, you said 10? Nine. Nine. So I need an eight to do one. Nothing with a three. Things are looking very meek. Your move. All right, I gotta do the water thing again. So that is nothing. And yeah, four. Good, good fours. All right, I'm gonna put uh, these down. So it's gonna be a one. That's a Chuck E. Cheese token. Uh, two, that's a nickel. Uh, that's a dime. And that's a quarter. Thank you, patrons, for uh, supporting our water tokens. Thank you very much. <laughs> and now I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna I'm gonna decide to push because I feel like I can get these guys. So now Triton is going to perplex Gorgon's attack up by one, and I'm going to charge Diorite. I don't get that special bonus because I did not move two squares. So now nine on a 16 with super senses, or okay. sorry, 10. I do have shape change, which I forgot the last turn, but here goes. Oh, actually, I think you lost that, didn't you? No, it's a special trait. Oh, okay. And I got a five. So no more attacking me. All right, so then I can't do that. And then I, I pushed. Uh, yeah, I pushed. Damn, I still have my specials. This guy's pretty good. So, Gorgon is going to perplex my um, damage up to an 11, and I'm going to charge while carrying Spartoid Elite. And I am going to charge in here. Um, I, I'm adjacent to both of them, right? So can I attack both of them even though there's a wall right there? Because there's a wall right there. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I'm gonna do Blades, Claws, and Fangs. So 11 on a 16 and a 16, I gotta roll a five to do Blades, Claws, and Fangs. Well, shape change on my guy, first oh, of okay. all. Oh, okay, my bad. Two. That is a two, so the attack goes through. It goes through on both of them. Um, and now my Blades, Claws, and Fangs. So four. So I am going to allocate it by doing Diorite. Doing it on Diorite, who has super senses. Um, so all four on, on Diorite. And I miss, or he misses. I miss with my super senses. So four. One, two, KO. Uh, he is gone. He takes a click for pushing. And Spartoid Elite will clear. Oh, well, he does take a token for that. He only has one. Yes. I have no choice but to clear my guy. All right, I will clear Gorgon and Triton. And um, Spartoid Lee is just gonna hold tight using defend. Sadly, I see my fate coming to me slowly. I think I'm not gonna be able to make it out, guys. All righty, Karnak will use his uh, trait, Inhumanity. He can use Perplex, but only on Inhumans, and he can't modify damage. Aww. So, I'm gonna Perplex Triton's defense down to a 15. Now, I will use my Close Combat Expert to give me plus two to my damage. So that is a nine on a 15 to do three damage because of his trait, always sees the weak spot, which means damage by Karnak is penetrating. Oh, shit. So here's a token for that. And there's a nine on a 15. I need a six to do three. And I got that. Three damage. Oh, Triton, Triton, Triton. One. 
Oh, try and try and try. Oh. <laughs> okay, he's good. All right, here goes the water trick thing. So three, that's one. And five, that's three. So a total of four. I'm going to do one, two, three, four. Just completely sealing Kraken or Karnak Spate. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to flurry with Triton. So nine. Oh, you know what? Um, Gorgon is going to perplex his attack up by 10 um, because of the inhumanity trait. Um, so 10 on a 16. With. So 18. Combat reflexes. So 8 to do 2 damage. And I got, <laughs> you got it. it. No problems or nothing, right? You don't got no nothing tricks up your sleeve. What's that damage power? Nothing? That's nothing. Alright, 1, 2. Oh, he's still alive. But I have Flurry. So I'm going to do it again. Uh, this time it's a 10 on a 17. So I got to roll a 7 to do 2. Oh, crit miss. <laughs> oh, Triton, Triton. You killed yourself. He's dead. He's KO. Killed himself. Um, and now Gorgon is going to uh, charge in. Boom. Uh, nine on a 17. Damn, you, you can still win this. Sound Alchemist. Uh, 10 on a 17 with exploit weakness, which makes it a four. Um, all right, get to choose. I'll, I'll do, I'll do plus one, plus one on both of them. So 10 on a 17 to do three. Seven, four, five, six. No, miss. Damn it. Uh, all right, I'm gonna use his trait in humanity to perplex your defense down to a 15. Because they're both inhumans. And now uh, his trait always sees the weak spot will give him penetrating damage. So nine on a 15, I need a six to do three. Six to do three. Oh. Uh, at least not a crit miss, I guess. Your move. But first, let me give you that token. And he is in Dom, so nothing happens. I will um, clear and then move Spartoy. Elite. All right, I got nothing except to clear and perplex your attack down by one. All right, I'm gonna do my water thing too, and nothing. So can I use yours? Go for it. One, two, and now um, he will perplex your defense down, so that would be a 16 now. And I will attack you, so eight on a 16. You need an eight. To do two damage. Yep, eight to do two. Or actually I have exploit weakness, so I'm gonna put that all on my... I'm gonna put that all on my attack. I do have combat reflex, by the way. You do, so it, yeah, so it's 16 and not, you perplex my damage down to eight, but I bump it up to two more, so that's a 10. So 10 on a 16, six to do two. And I got it. And you got it with seven. So two damage on Karnak, Inhuman is dead. And I am the winner again, yeah. You got wet and wild, so I can't argue with that. You did good. You and it was just good. two Inhumans versus the three of you guys, because Spartoy Elite seriously did nothing. Nothing. Piece of shit. Piece. He was my favorite, though. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys for watching so much, and thank you, patrons. We finally got our mic, uh, which is what we're using right now to shoot, um, and you can clearly hear the awesomeness that is this new mic that we got from our patrons. So, thank you, patrons on Patreon. Thank you so much. If you guys want to support us and make our videos more awesome for you guys to watch, please walk on over to our Patreon page. The link is right here. And uh, support us. We also give you cool stuff in return for your awesomeness. So guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Just how Gersh is doing it. It's a button, not, not something else. And you guys are going to be introduced to some epic awesomeness.
So like, comment, subscribe, and share this video to everybody out there. I am the Sound Alchemist. He is Gershwan. And we are signing up.